Good morning and welcome to another edition of MWO Serial Reviews. I'm your host, Bill Johnson. And this morning, I took a little trip to Branchburg, New Jersey. And there is a store there that is all over Pennsylvania and in some parts of New Jersey and upstate New York. Wow, I need a haircut so bad. The store is called Wegmans. And they had a cereal that piqued my interest. Peanut butter and cocoa corn crunch. Made with whole grain. Uh, 170 calories. Um, 12 grams of sugar. The sodium is high. One gram of saturated fat. You never even see that statistic on the front of a box. So the thing that is interesting to me is it looks like a Captain Crunch version of Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs because we see here these puffs look like peanut butter Captain Crunch and the cocoa ones look like a cocoa version of that. So I'm anticipating, I'm anticipating that just from visual. Um, sweetened corn cereal with real peanut butter and cocoa. Okay. Everybody knows I love peanut butter cereals, so this is exciting. And after having the peanut butter and jelly cereal from Aldi, I thought, hey, maybe Wegmans is going to take me down an amazing off-brand path. So yeah, I mean, right away, it smells like peanut butter Captain Crunch. Kind of looks like it too. Gonna pile it high and deep. By the way, the box sucks. As most off-brand cereals do, except for peanut butter and jelly, that box is awesome. Here's what a box of peanut butter and cocoa corn crunch looks like from Wegmans. It's basically peanut butter Captain Crunch, but with chocolate pieces. So, I mean, I just don't know why Captain Crunch doesn't do that, right? Try the chocolate pieces. They taste like peanut butter. Hmm. So, they're not as crunchy as Peanut Butter Captain Crunch. They're actually really soft, which really surprised me because they don't look like they're going to be. I'm tasting mostly peanut butter, but in this dry test, the aftertaste is sort of like, I don't know, not pleasant, actually. Could just be all the uh, grease. These seem like they're like deep fried and they're real uh, oily. This cereal is very oily. I'm drooling though. Going in great, aftertaste weird. Maybe the milk will fix that. Let's get wet and let's see what we got. Really soft. Um, it more emulates Reese's peanut butter puffs. So the picture is a little off. But this is a Reese's peanut butter puffs ripoff, flat out. Almost identical to Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs once the milk's in. Oh. 
Here's the problem. Although it going down, it tastes like Reese's peanut butter puffs. Afterwards, I don't know what it is. There's a very strange aftertaste. So you're not getting Reese's peanut butter puffs uh, ratings here. But um, I'm gonna give you a seven for trying. It's edible, will clear the box. Dry, it's terrible. Once you add the milk, it's the closest thing to Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs out there. Um, it's cool that these off-brands are going after more uh, modern cereals. I'll give you that. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Put that on your spoon and eat it. Wegmans, greatest grocery store in the world.